Hello! Hi everybody! Welcome to Wolf Den Live episode 117! The one where I talk like Dr. Nick the whole episode! <laughs> Please! I, there's no way I can keep Please. that up. Please! Hank Azaria can't even keep that up. <laughs> That was very good. Thank you. That was one of my. That was, that was, that was good. I was like, like, I don't really have anything for this episode, and I don't know what made me think of Doctor Nick. Although, who doesn't think about Doctor Nick on a daily basis? Hey, Bunty King's in the chat. Hello, hey, Bunty. look at that. How's it going? Hello, Crash. Hello, Carnage. Hello, Louis. 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 <laughs> Cruiser Law. Elijah. Hello, everybody. Hello, Can't anyone and everyone who's here. Even my old friend, Mister McGregor, <laughs> with a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. I hate you so much. That's the best. The I best have to check the audio real quick. Hey, we're good. You know, we're all synced up. Nice. Now, before we get into things, yes, there's a few things we got to talk about. Not what you think. The heat in this room because it's, it's hot. It's I don't hot know what hell. the hell is going on. Jesus. I cracked the window. I actually left that window open for like three days back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I'm gonna collapse. But anyway, have some water. I am having water. Jeez, I don't know what else to do for you. All right, well, what, can't what put we, a fan on you. What do we got to talk about? You got, you know, no, thanks. Give me some oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> fake <laughs> oxygen. <laughs> fake. Anyway, uh, so next weekend is PAX. Yes. You won't be there. No. I will be there. Yes. We also just got denied our E3. Yes. So you can't go to that. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first year you were going to go to E3. Yeah. Now you can't even go to E3. But well, I'll be at PAX. Um, Saturday at mm -hmm. some time it is unconfirmed they haven't confirmed with me, but at the Screenwave booth I will be doing like a meet and greet so I can like hang out with people and then on Sunday this was just confirmed today uh -huh. Sunday 11am at the Twitch booth on the stage I will be interviewing Greg Miller and Joey Noel wow to I, I didn't even tell you Yo, about you this. didn't tell me this at all to we're going to be talking about using Twitch as community management for your YouTube channel wow yes so Please go to both the meet and greet and the Twitch booth at 11 a.m. Because I am terrified that nobody's going to show up. Yes. <laughs> so please, if you're going to be at, at PAX East, go to the meet and greet and uh, see me on the stage at 11 a.m. on Sunday. And while you're doing all that, on April 7th, I will be at the New York Auto Show at the Jacob Javits <laughs> Center. <laughs> Wait, really? Bunch, yeah, in real That's life. That's when that is? Okay. It was with a whole bunch of my idiot friends. And then on April 8th, the next day, I will be live tweeting WrestleMania from my <laughs> couch in my basement. So oh, that also means there will not, most likely not, be a YouTube live stream on that Sunday. So the 8th? Yeah, the 8th. The eighth. Most likely not because uh, Elgato never got back to me about doing a thing. Really? Yeah, so uh, screw them. Yeah. And and, then, to, and Sunday, this Sunday is Easter. Yeah. But I want to do a stream anyway because I'm not going to do a stream next week. Right. So. And I'll also be with AJ. Oh, and then April 9th, weekend. I'm turning 31. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. I didn't buy you anything yet. Yeah, that's okay. I didn't buy myself anything either. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I'll be with AJ the whole weekend, too. All so, right. he'll, Fanatics 4 will be there, too. Anyway. Uh, how are y'all doing? Oh, we also have to get another thing we always do at the top of the show when it's the end of the month. Help. It's okay, Bob. <laughs> We're going to talk about the PS Plus and Xbox yes. Live games of gold. Yes. For the month of April. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, right before the start of the new month, Sony and Microsoft will release the games that they're going to give to you for free if you pay the $60 a year to be part of their uh, exclusive membership. There's a very special one on PlayStation. Uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. You definitely don't, but okay. uh, let's, 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 let's get into it. And as always, we start with the PS Plus games, uh, free games for April, starting with Mad Max for the PlayStation 4. You like this game a lot. Not a lot. Oh, okay, never mind. I've, I've false here's fake a, here's news. the thing about Mad Max. It's not a bad game. It's a very long and pointless game, though. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Cause, okay, because, like, <laughs> I mean, it has Arkham style combat, which I know you don't Everything like. Everything does. The whole world has Arkham but, style combat. You know, it's done well. It's got, a, you know, it's got cool ideas, it's got cool concepts. But the problem is, it's like this huge open world desert. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot of stuff to do in the desert. Um, and it's, it's a lot of like repetition over and over again like finding strongholds trying to take them down the whole point of the game is to rebuild your car okay but the story isn't very good cause like it'll jump back and forth between like doing things for one camp and then another camp all while you're trying to rebuild your car but it's very faithful to the Mad Max 
universe. Um, the car combat is incredible. Um, a lot of the little touches they put in here and there are kind of cool. It's just, it's a game that was either needed something extra to justify its length or been much shorter. That said, it's free. I would say give it a shot and see how you feel. Okay. Yeah. I definitely won't. Okay. But let's continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, also for PS4 in April, Trackmania Turbo. Cool, man. A lot of people I know love Trackmania. Really? I never got into it. I've never even heard of this game before really? in my life. Yeah, never heard of it. It used to be a PC, I think a free PC game. Oh, you build the tracks. Yeah, and then you okay. drive on it. Yeah, I know. I, so it's so it's like uh, it's like Hot Wheels, kind of, but the game. Yeah. All right. And then on the PlayStation Three, you get In Space We Brawl and Toy Home. Right. And then on the PlayStation Vita, you get Ninety Nine Vitas. Have you ever heard of that game? No. Is that the one you're excited for? Our buddy Izzy, no, no Bray, no Bur. Oh. This is his game. Really? He's in this game. Oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. I'm trying to find him. So now I, I will think that's play. him with the beard, with the glasses right there. Oh, wow. I guess I'll have to bust out my Vita. Yeah, Izzy. That's him. There he is. All right. Izzy no, no, Nober. No, Nober. Nober. I'm Nober. pronouncing that right. Izzy Nober. <laughs> oh, there man. he is. This is his game. And it's free. Yes. I, I got to talk to him about how he gets paid for that. Yeah. Because I want to know, because I've always wanted to know, if you get a PlayStation Plus game, how the hell do you make any money? Yeah. You know, I pretty. I think they give you like a flat fee, or something. Maybe. I don't know. I got. I got a. I got to talk. But there he is. You can play yeah, as him. That's cool. It, but it's only on the Vita. It's not cross. It doesn't say it's cross bot. Right underneath that is Qbert rebooted. <laughs> <laughs> it's All the right. gritty reboot of Qbert. That says it's for the PlayStation Vita, but it's cross by with the PS3 and PS4. All right. It specifically says it's cross. I should have. Should have. Got an Izzy on Discord to talk about his game. Ah, well, you, you didn't. I didn't. I suck. You know what? Well, you know what? Another time this week, we're going to have him on the show to talk about, uh, there you go. talk about his game. We should wait until after April. These games will be available the first Tuesday in April. So next week. I'll yeah. see what he's doing next week. Post them with Vita and this play. This Qbert rebooted looks like absolute garbage. <laughs> so oh, yeah. This is ugly as hell. <laughs> Are you upset that the air conditioning went off? <laughs> A little bit, yeah. So that's it for uh, PS Plus. That's it for PS Plus. Yeah. Uh, Xbox Live, Games with Gold. As always, they stagger. And it's a pretty big month. Okay. So from April 1st... Uh, yeah. For the entire month of April, starting April 1st, you get The Witness. That is Jonathan Blow's follow-up to Braid. Mm -hmm. It's the critically acclaimed puzzle game that everybody loves. Everybody yeah, I remember this. Over. Yeah, I remember so that So I'll game. finally be able to play it. And then from April 16th to May 15th is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That's the last Assassin's Creed game before Origins came out. Right. And everybody loved this game. Okay. So probably won't play it. But thanks to Games with Gold, they now have 90% of the Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Xbox 360, which you can play on your Xbox One, uh, starting April 1st, you get Cars 2, the video game. And then April fifteenth, uh, April sixteenth, you get Dead Space Two, which is apparently the best Dead Space game. Uh not not too into this. Not too into, not into this. Even PlayStation. Yeah, like, PlayStation is definitely like a aside from Izzy's game and arguably Mad Max. I wouldn't argue Mad Max. Yeah. I don't think not a lot of people like that game. Yeah, I thought you liked it when it came out, but I knew I know that it didn't get that I, great reviews. I liked it enough to play it for a long time, but it was, yeah. I just had to move on. Mm. I would say that Xbox has the stronger lineup because it's got The Witness. Cars 2. Cars yeah. What are you doing? A f Why? Three out of four, man. What's Cars 2 doing there? I don't know. Dead Bra Space, fine, but like two? That's like a weird one. Brave know? was last month. Brave. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, no, Brave is weird too. Yeah. They, they don't get a pass for that. That's they're, weird. They're they're running. They're clearly running out of games. Yeah. I mean, Sony ran out of games a long time ago. Obviously, Microsoft is now running out of games. Yes. Well, yeah. What, what is it? Next year they're getting rid of PlayStation Three and Vita games. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if Xbox is going to keep doing Xbox 360 games. I feel like they will until they do everything because Phil Spencer has said his goal is 100% backwards compatibility. That's true. And, uh, yeah, I, I think they have a lot more to go through. Yeah, PlayStation does. PlayStation 3 stuff isn't all backwards compatible with PlayStation 3. No, PlayStation 3 is not 
PS4 is not backwards compatible at all. Right. Unless you do PlayStation Now. Right. Right, right, right. Bunty thinks Dead Space 2 is the best Dead Space. You played the Dead Space games. I played, I've only played the first one. Really? Yes. We have all of them somehow. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We, we, don't. Have, we have the first one. No, we have more than the first one. No, we don't. I know we do because I stole one of them from Jerry. Okay, well. And I think we, I got the third one from GameStop in some, through some rigmarole. I don't know. I'm almost positive we have. I've one. only I've only ever seen in our, in our house the first one. I've only ever played the first one. I gotta I gotta look because so. I, I I know we have at least two, but I'm okay. pretty sure we have all three, and I have not played a single one of them. The first one's good. Second one I hear is better. Third one I hear is trash. All right, well that's fine. Uh, Ian Quinn is Sneak King on there. <laughs> Sneak King. I wonder how much you can get that for on Amazon. Probably like a buck. Yeah, probably. That was on. Wait, that was on uh, Games with No. It one wasn't. Year. It absolutely was not. I remember like making a big deal. I don't even know. Oh, Games with Gold. Oh, predictions. Get out of here. Uh, Wikipedia has a list. No, it was never a game with gold. Nope. Well, on its own Wikipedia article, it does not have gold. So. I made that up. I don't know anything. I just like spreading false information. You all do. The time. You're, just, you're just a walking fake news. Uh, Fred has been on a tirade about Crisis for the Xbox 360. Yeah, I'm surprised that's not that hasn't been. Crisis is very good. Crisis yeah. two. Crisis, Crisis two. three is good, but it's the same game, but it's, like less uh, good. I didn't even <laughs> like Crisis three. I tried. Like I could not. Crisis get into two it. is way better. Crisis but two is really good. Both of them have really good multiplayer. Yes. And the problem with 3 is that it was the same game as 2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the multiplayer is really good on those. Anyway. Those are your free games. Uh, nothing to really write home about, except for Izzy's game. Yeah. 99 Vitas. Definitely play that if you have a Vita. And if you like Izzy. <laughs> uh, moving on to the, the, the top of the show. To here. the news. Uh, I might have to change the name of this because I was just reading the article right before we started this. This, this is like pulling some things. This is a bigger deal than I was expecting. Okay. Um, so Nintendo has a weird patent that they filed, uh, as they always do. Yes. This one's super bizarre because it's for uh, it's for cards. Is like it that, amiibo cards? Is it that bizarre though? Because didn't they put out amiibo cards? The only bizarre, the the most bizarre thing is the 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 way it looks it is ugly as hell looking okay anyway this is from digital trends who is the most cancerous website i've ever seen in my life <laughs> stop playing a video nintendo filed a patent for a curious trading card set that uses amiibo tech uh, a section of the patent reads quote the trading cards refer to cards on which various different pictures are depicted and uh purpose thereof is collection and exchanged that is not correct english namely the trading cards are cards manufactured and sold aiming at exchange or collection of pictures on each surface thereof i forgot to hit a uh, recording so you're gonna have to download this later <laughs> oopsies in one uh, of the i'm not going home tonight <laughs> wife in one of the figures in the document a card is shown hovering above a uh, Nintendo 3DS to demonstrate its contactless technology that takes the data from the card and stores it on the device. Which is not weird uh -huh. because they already have Amiibo cards. They have Animal Crossing yes. cards and probably some other ones. Uh, what is weird is that it's a 3DS and not a Switch. That is weird. Isn't that weird? They're, they just filed this and it's for a 3DS. Yeah. Um, the obvious assumption is that Nintendo is tinkering with the idea of making a series of Pokemon cards that interact with the Nintendo 3DS, but the patent images of characters named John, Beth, and Mike certainly don't provide concrete clues. Look at these freaking pictures. I mean, you gotta be, yeah, you know, they're patents, so they don't need to be high detail pictures. Look at Beth. <laughs> yeah, Beth, Beth has got a lot going on. Beth is not well. Yeah. <laughs> Even John. That thing's name's John. Yeah. You're not as you're not as uh I don't, upset about no, these pictures. I'm not, because I I've seen patent drawings before. They look terrible. 
Uh, yes. Why couldn't they? Why couldn't they? Oh, well, I guess they don't want to use like Pokemon because they don't want to use one yeah, of their own IP. Yeah. They want to make it more ambiguous. But like, come on, man! You got. You could do so much better than this. <laughs> this is so bad. It's pretty bad, but it's a patent. It's not Picasso. Anyway, it does appear that there would be some game, quote, game involved with the cards. Each card represents either rock, paper, or scissors, as shown in the upper left in the corner. This I didn't read before. And each card shows a number one to six on a die on the right side. It would seem that users could upload data to their 3DS and play against one another in game in a game of chance. Uh, although the cards have a different design, those symbols were previously used in other line of Amiibo cards. Cards of use in three recent Animal Crossing games, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, you know, animal, a bunch of Animal Crossing yeah. games, each had either a rock, paper, or scissors icon and a number from a die. I did not know this. 400 cards were manufactured in all. More recently, Nintendo released a more basic line of Amiibo cards for Mario Sports Superstars that unlocked character pop uh, power-ups and new gear. Nintendo filed for the patent in November with the runway success with the runaway success of the Nintendo Switch. We wonder if Nintendo would bring this trading card set to the Switch as well as it stands. It's clear that Nintendo is still drawing up ideas for its aging 3DS hardware now. Will. Yes. I don't think... That this this article ends drumming up ideas for aging 3DS hardware. I don't think this is for 3DS at all. I think this is for the Switch. I think they use the 3DS probably like to illustrate it. Yeah. But, you know, it'll, it'll be useful for the Switch. Like, there will be Switch games that support this. I think that that is, without a doubt, Pokemon cards. Yeah. Because we got a new Pokemon coming out soon. Uh, why that would not? Make, that would make sense. Why not have NFC Pokemon cards? How would they work? I'm surprised that Sun and Moon didn't have Amiibo. That's weird to me. Yeah. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to do it right. Maybe. And this is how to do it right. Yeah. Because the trading card game is really big for Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Incorporate the trading card game with the actual game. Pokemon okay, game. but here's here's the thing. So how would you incorporate it? Would like, let's let's say. You, you don't have a Charizard in the game, but you have a Charizard card. You scan the card and you get the Charizard. I hope that is not how that yeah. works, because that would be pay to win. That would be absolutely That's pay to not win. Yeah. okay to do that. Um, maybe it gives you like an item or something, you yeah. know, like something small, not, nothing, nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe it only works in a certain mode online. Like you can, yeah. you, or maybe there's another game that's going to be the trading card game. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's not the Pokemon game, like the mainline Pokemon yeah. game. Maybe it's a completely separate trade. Cause the, you can there you can play the trading card game on the computer. Yeah. When you get a pack of Pokemon cards in it is a code to get a whole, an actual deck right. in the trading card game on the computer. So you get a separate deck. That's not even the same deck that you have. Maybe you save your Pokemon's data to the card and then you scan it in on other later games, like maybe another Pokemon Stadium, mm, maybe Smash Brothers. That's true. Yeah, that could work. Something like that. Um, yeah, I could see that. Uh, I think this is a great way to expand. I mean, the the the. This is a great way to expand Pokemon and make a, a an ass load more money. Yeah, you know, for them. Uh, in the Bloomberg article that I had in my last video. Uh, they talk about accessories for the Switch mm -hmm. and like selling accessories with Pokemon. And they, uh, the Pokemon company said, uh, the, the guy, what, what the hell's his name? Uh, Ishihara or something? He said, um, it's certainly something we're thinking about as accessories. Yeah. So this could be what he was talking about there. Right. Um, which would make a lot of sense. And you think about it like, the, uh, imagine mainstream audiences playing a new Pokemon game for the Switch. You know, people who don't normally play like a like a crap ton of games. Yeah, they buy a Switch specifically just for Pokemon. Now all of a sudden, oh, by the way, here's a whole bunch of trading cards that you can get that you can also implement in the game. Right. Then you have this whole phenomenon of people spending hundreds of dollars on the trading card game. Yeah. To to incorporate it into the actual game they're playing on the Switch, I think that's a big deal. <sighs> Kevin Ruby, they confirmed a Switch Pokemon game, not a 3DS Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, I don't think this is about the 3DS at all, even though the 3DS is in the, the patent filing. 
They actually said Ultra Sun and Moon were it for the 3DS, says Grim. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah, them we, saying we that. We know the next Pokemon game is coming to the Switch. Yeah. That yeah. much is certain. They said they can't do... They, they already completely used the 3DS hardware to its max capability. Yeah. So they need to move on. Um... Sir Cubs a lot. Skylanders cards were better. Dude, you're just looking at patent filing right now. You don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> None of us know anything right now. Were there Skylanders cards? I don't even know. <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, Jumping off from that. Yes. Is more news about Pokemon for mm-hmm. the Switch. Apparently, there was supposed to be a direct today. <laughs> today? Today. Oh, wow. Rumors said that there was going to be a direct today. This is from Games Rant. Game Rant. Uh, rumor Pokemon Switch Direct coming Wednesday. I always skip the first paragraph when I read an article because it's always garbage. Yep. This latest Pokemon on Switch rumor has been making the rounds on the internet today and seems to stem from a Twitter post by a user named Matt Hunt. I, for a second, thought that said Mike Hunt. I was thinking that when I read it. I was like, isn't that a Moses lack thing? Yeah. <laughs> well, not... It is a, it is a similar to a Moses lack thing, but it's not one they would ever get approved by standards and practices. Right. Is there a Mike Hunt here? Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Listen, you. If I ever find out who you are, I'm gonna tear out your eyes and shove them down your pants so you can watch me kick the crap out of you. Okay? And then I'm gonna use your tongue to paint my boat. That's the part I remember. I'm gonna <laughs> use your tongue to paint my boat. Welcome to the Simpsons episode of Wolf Den Live. <laughs> Hunt cites, quote, reliable sources, mm, I don't know about that, mm. that back up this rumor, though, has yet to provide any evidence of for his claim. So while it's certainly possible Nintendo will surprise fans with a special Pokemon Switch Direct on this coming Wednesday, March 28th, which is right now, no one should get their hopes up. While Pokemon fans should take Hunt's claims with a massive grain of salt, that doesn't see uh, mean we won't see the new game sooner rather than later. In fact... Another rumor has pointed to Bandai Namco, which I always want to say Namkai Bando, which is, <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Just had a stroke. Hosting a press conference in May. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Another rumor pointed to Bandai Namco hosting a press conference in May where it will un- unveil a new line of toys and merchandise based on Pokemon for the Switch. Toys and merchandise. Interesting. Did they do toys and merchandise for Pokemon? I don't know. Do they, do they have the Pokemon license? I didn't think they did. You, you looked that up. If this is true, parentheses, Note that this supposed press conference hasn't been confirmed and is also just a rumor that it would stand to reason that the new Pokemon game will be shown at some point before May. And the tweet says, hashtag grain of salt, hashtag Pokemon. So we may be getting a Pokemon Direct on Wednesday announcing the Switch titles. Not concrete information, just passing along the rumor. And that's from Matt Hunt. And that was on Monday. This Bandai Namco rumor stems from a French-language Pokemon fan site called Pokegraph. This is, like, really digging deep. Which is making these claims based on multiple sources. Uh, Pokegraph also claims that Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch will be split into two games, like all the other main series titles so far, and that they will launch in December of this year. I completely forgot that Pokemon does that and splits games into two, because then I'm going to have to buy two freaking Switch games. Well, no, you get one and I get the other. Duh. Mm, then we gotta get physical ones. Why do I have to get physical ones? So we can actually swap them. Uh, I guess. I'm not no, gonna, I'm, don't you? Remember? I'm gonna get it digitally. You don't remember how this works? I get one, you get the other. We play the games, and then we trade back and forth. I'm thinking about. I might have to stream. Oh. Uh, so you know, I'm gonna buy it digitally. You get the other one digitally, and then we'll trade back and right. forth. And if I feel the need to stream the other game, I'll download the other. Okay. Game. I don't feel like I'm gonna play this game that much though. Tommy. Has the Pokemon toy license. Not Bandai. Toy, it, it, Toys for Tommy? Is that the name of the company? Or is it's it just called Tommy? It's just called Tommy. Oh. Yeah. So what the hell? I don't know. Maybe also, maybe they lost it. I think Mike Hunt was a bit on Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh. The Plutonians. Do you remember them? The what? The, the... Not the Moon... 8-bit look? Oh, no, those, those were the Moon, moon Knights. Knights. <laughs> the Plutonians were the, like, they were the jagged looking guys. One guy kind of just talked like this, and then the other guy talked like this a lot. Yes, yeah. yes, there <laughs> they are. That's them. All right. Yeah, apparently Rick and Morty had, were they also called the Plutonians? 
There might be plutonians on Rick and Morty. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yep. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, we split into two games. Yeah. Like the rumor that a Pokemon Switch Nintendo Direct will come this Wednesday. Fans should be weary of Pokegraph's claims. After all, Pokegraph doesn't provide any evidence to back up what it's saying and could just be making it up. Great, hard-hitting journalism right there. Yes. Of course, if Pokegraph was correct that the new Pokemon games on Switch will launch in December of this year, it wouldn't be all that surprising. We know that Pokemon on Switch has a release window of late 2018, early 2019, and if the games launch in time for Christmas, it could give Nintendo a record-breaking holiday season. I agree. However, I don't... I think it's kind of pretty tight releasing this year. I think I think it's possible. Yeah. Also, December is very late. Yeah. That's very late, especially for the holiday season. Yeah, so, unless they get it out like within the first week, they're not getting that Christmas rush. Yeah, that's December's December's weird. They've done that before though. They've released a game like in December. Yeah, but games launch in December, yeah. like often. But uh, it's just weird, you yeah. know. Like that, I I, I would behoove them to do like November or yeah. even October, um, if they want to hit that rush. But a lot of Pokemon games come out in like springtime. Yeah. Air conditioning. It's not good air conditioning. No, it's terrible, and there's like no way to. I thought opening the window would help, and it doesn't. Yeah. And life sucks. Everything sucks. Maybe we need a fan in here. I just threw yeah. out a fan. I still have the Dyson fan. Bring that. Yeah, okay. Here to me. Is that in the basement or is that in the attic? I'll bring it next time. Okay. Uh, so we got. So we definitely didn't get a, a Pokemon Direct. That didn't right. happen. Yeah. So these rumors are untrue. Except that we could get one tomorrow. Yes. I don't know why this guy thinks that it's happening. It always ha that always happens. You know, like oh, we're gonna get a Direct tomorrow. Just you wait, and nothing happens. Then Pokegraph said that we would get one in May, which I think is plausible. Yeah. I think we're not gonna hear anything until E3. Yeah. But it is it is entirely plausible that we will get a Pokemon Direct. I also think that it's entirely plausible that. Nintendo's going to have some sort of amiibo connectivity or these playing card connectivity. Mm -hmm. Whenever Pokemon releases for the Switch, it is going to take over the freaking world. Yeah. Regard that is without no, a doubt. Absolutely. No question. That is going to be crazy. And I hopefully it does come out this year. Because mm -hmm. then I'll have something to do when I stream. And people will actually watch. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is the chat saying? Sir Cubs a lot. How different do you think Pokemon games, Pokemon Switch will be to date? Will be to date Pokemon games. So how different will it be from the other Pokemon games? I guess he's saying. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it'll be very different at all. I think it'll, it'll be the structure will be the same. It'll be familiar. I think there will be enough new features to differentiate it from the other ones. Like it'll probably be much more streamlined. It'll probably um, have new crazier online abilities yes motion controls it'll, guaranteed it'll look amazing yes I don't want motion controls I really hope they don't do that I'm sure they'll put them in somehow I'm wondering though if they'll do like this like keep with the you know 2D overhead or they'll go full 3D I don't know I, I think they should go full 3D because they want to make a big deal that this is the first time Pokemon is going to be on a home console yeah they should go full 3D so with I've... the option to do overhead so, oh, I don't know about that. I don't well, know. You know Metal, having an option? Because then, you, then you're developing two games. Well, no. Metal Gear 3. Subsistence. What is that? That gave you an option to do... Yeah, you click the stick, and then it goes from overhead to 360. Oh, God. That's got to break the game in a lot of ways. It's weird. Because like, I've never played Subsistence. But I remember when that game came out, everybody's like, oh, it doesn't have a, a full 3D camera. I'm like, it's never did. That's Metal Gear. And then it, Subsistence came out. Had the full camera and everyone's like, "Oh, this game's so much better." Ten out of ten, IGN. Really, everybody yeah. liked it better. Than everybody liked it. Now I gotta go. I need that game released on every console. Ever. I think that's my favorite Metal Gear. I'm almost positive that the HD collection is backwards compatible on Xbox One. I have it. I don't. Or Xbox 360. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I remember originally, I think it was just Peace Walker, but I'm pretty sure the other two are also. What do you mean? What? Oh, like, backwards compatibility. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to do a little research there. Yeah. So you I, just stick the disc in. 
our buddy Mike keeps trying to get me to watch Planet of the Apes, the, that series. Yeah, you should. They're very good. Yeah. And I always talk about Metal Gear to yeah. like an annoying degree. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a deal with him. I'm going to watch all of the Planet of the Apes movies, but I'm going to force him to play one of the Metal Gear games. Okay. <laughs> In the time now, which one should I do? You should you should be nice and start them off with the first one, Metal Gear Solid. Right, but yeah. I feel like that's not as good of a game. You know what I mean? What about Twin Snakes? Yeah, Twin. I definitely wouldn't do the PS One. Yeah, I would definitely be Twin Snakes. But I I kind of want to do three. I don't know because three is very like advanced. Like okay. the bu- all the buttons do four different things. That's true. That's true. It might have to be the first one. Yeah. I think you're right. I mean, a lot of people love the second one. I don't, though. The second one just has had a that kind of bad story. Yeah. The second it's one's weird. not a bad game. One and three have the best stories. Yes. For sure. Four has a great thing going on, too. But, yeah. But uh, it's way too bizarre. And yeah. also way too complicated. That one's a complicated game. Yeah, that one's complicated. Uh, yeah, that had other issues and stuff. We went from Pokemon to Metal Gear. Only on Wolf Den Live. Metal Gear. Will that, will that happen? Yep. Uh, <laughs> book says, Fox Engine Pokemon. Yes. I think Pokemon... So there's two ways they can go with it. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the the hacks, the, the mods for the uh, for Sun and Moon that make that up res everything all the assets no it looks really good yeah except cer- certain things like the grass is like pixelated yeah, but yeah. like uh the actual character models look really good mm-hmm. up res a little bit so that style could actually work okay or they can go full anime and do like dragon ball mm-hmm. fighter z like yeah. dragon ball fighter z looks that would incredible. be incredible yeah that would be very interesting they could do like a really cool cell shaded yeah. look or they could they could embrace the the three miles and do like what they've been doing just yeah. up it. How am I down to forty three percent battery already? Yo, I'm forty one percent. We were charging our laptops right before we left. I know, and this thing's gonna. I got USB Type C. This should have charged real quick, but yeah. it didn't. I'm very disappointed. All right. Uh, C- Cruiser Law PS One Metal Gear Solid is all time classic. Boys, you guys are young bucks, man. Young bucks. Young bucks. I didn't have a PS1, all right? <laughs> yeah. We played the original Metal Gear, the PC port of that. Actually, yes, you're right. Yes. But I didn't play the story. I only played the... the um, oh, the VR missions? The VR missions yeah. and, and Gray Fox. You can play as Gray yes. Fox, and it's like a couple things. And I played that over and mm-hmm. over again because it was so good, just slicing people up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I didn't play the actual story till Twin Snakes. Yeah. Which is a lot better. Twin Snakes... Is a very underrated game. I know everybody thinks it's everybody, worse. Uh, everybody craps on it because it it brought over all the abilities from uh, Sons of Liberty. So like first person aiming, you know, hanging off of things and doing pull ups and things like that. And everyone's like, oh, it it breaks the game. It makes it easier. Like no, it doesn't. It's just it's just another thing you can do in the game. Yeah. Uh, well, it breaks um, the ocelot fight, supposedly. I don't think so. Because people said that that fight's hard, and then, I mean, when I played it in a... It was very underwhelming in Twin Snakes. I just always thought it was just underwhelming, because it's the first boss fight. Yeah. So I just thought it was... That's what it is. You can also not do those stuff in the game. What? Like, like not just not go first person? You can not go first person and not climb. <laughs> it's true. So. I think I think I, I'm going to make him play uh, that. I was also thinking of making him just watch the movie. I'm gonna, cause I mean, if you go on YouTube, you could find the movie version of the game. Yeah, people break it's like it down. Twenty hours or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch all of them. The one for Metal Gear Three is five hours. Really, only five hours? Yeah. I mean, it Damn. breaks out all the gameplay. It like cuts down. I guess. Yeah. They do this cool thing on this YouTube channel. I, I don't, I don't care if you want to talk about Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> on this YouTube channel, they take the, uh, the, uh, the codec, codec yeah. stuff, and they. Put it on the. They put the guy's head on screen while they do the gameplay. Oh, that's really it's like good. really cool. Yeah, that's they, they did a good really idea. good job. So I'm gonna instead of replaying all of the games, I'm gonna watch all of those. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh. What was I gonna do? I'm I don't gonna know. Do something. What time is it? It's, we gotta uh, continue this. Nine thirty-five. We gotta. We gotta. Yeah. Let's keep going. We gotta keep going here. Oh, I played a way out. 
with AJ. Yeah, how was that? The other two days. I wanted to make this a topic. Very good. Yeah. A lot of people are saying it's an okay game. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, as a, the mechanics are not that great. Okay. It's basically heavy rain, but uh, split screen co op. Okay. And it's awesome. It, it it does really cool like things that could only happen in this type of game. So it does okay. what it does really well. Okay. And it's only thirty dollars. And if you want to play with somebody else, only one person has to buy it. Okay. So I bought it, and then I just linked up with him, and then he played. You know. Yeah, it's like I really, awesome. I really want to play it. It's a great game to play with your wife. Okay. Even if she has, if she if she's not up to games and stuff. Yeah. It's it's a good way to have to get somebody else into it. Even if they're not good at games, the other person, it's just it's like heavy rain. Okay. You know, so yeah. it's like very simple controls. Uh, how long did it take? Did you beat the game or? Uh, six to seven hours. Okay. So you do it in like two settings. Okay. Two okay. long settings. Yeah. But the story is decent, and it'll make you probably want to. Revisited a bunch of times. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, there's uh, this isn't a spoiler, but towards the end you get to like third person shooting. Okay. Uh, that might be a little bit, but right. One person can carry the whole thing. Yeah. Also, there's some driving parts that might be a problem if somebody isn't good at games, but yeah. uh, well, uh, just switch controllers. Yeah. If right. you're in the same room, just switch controllers. Yeah. Um, no, I'll be upstairs and my wife will be downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it is very good though okay. i highly highly recommend it and and the 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 story's like all right the ending everybody was like the ending's very predictable it mm-hmm. wasn't that good because they said that i was completely like blindsided by the ending because everybody's like it's predictable i was yeah. i did not predict it at all we got two schmeckles from blc your stream is great thanks for the entertainment thank you for the two canadian dollars blc thank you very much Truples. They call them. No. They call no. them stupids. Two stupids. There's the noise. Or is it loonies? <laughs> well, loonies is one. I forgot what they call the two. Do they have a $2 bill? It's a coin. Is it? If I remember correctly. No. It's a loony. A dollar is a loony, but they never call it a loony because they know that it's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. What's the next topic? What all do right. we got here? I think that I think that's all. I oh no no no. I have one more thing. Yeah. That you I was got, going to talk about. It looks like you got two more things. Oh well, this one. Oh, I do. Yeah. This one. Uh, it was another. It's a trademark that For, Nintendo filed. Yes. Something called Octo. Uh, this I didn't know. Did I do the wrong thing? Uh, have applied nine tra- oh, nine trademarks. There's nine different trademarks in Japan for downloadable video game programs, including the above Octo image. That's for uh, Splatoon 2, the Octo oh, expansion. Yeah. yeah, that's what that is. As well as in alphabetical order and as English words, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. I don't know what the hell that game is. It's also uh, a sequel. I didn't yes, even know that there was game, an original yeah. one. Luigi's Mansion. Mm-hmm. Louis- Mario and Luigi. Uh, Metroid... Metroid Prime, Smash Brothers, Wario Land, hmm. and WarioWare. Why are these not trademarks already? They're probably re-upping the trademark. It's probably... Wario Land was a game for the Game Boy Advance, wasn't it? Right, but this is probably a new Wario Land game. Or is this for virtual console, Will? Yeah, that's the thing. Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Yeah. That was for a regular Game Boy? Regular Game Boy. Yes, regular Game Boy. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Yeah, all these are games already. But these are probably like new versions of these games. That's why they're applying for these trademarks. New versions of these games? Yeah, like a new Wario Land. A new Luigi's Mansion. Octo. The new... Octo image is weird because that they announced already like, yeah. like at the last Direct. Mm-hmm. Um, Luigi's Mansion. I mean, all these are weird. Dylan's yeah. Dead Heat Breakers, that's also weird. I mean, well... There is also a Wario game yes. coming out. And Metroid Prime. Yeah, this is weird. This is weird that this wasn't done already. I'm sure it was done already. I'm convinced this is probably for a new game. Or a virtual console. Or a virtual console. I don't know. I think that's... I mean, it's not weird to, to want to you know hold on to your IP. Yeah. That's not weird. But it's weird that it's so late in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, BLC with another two schmoops. Shm- Loonies are one dollar and toonies are two dollars. Is it really toonies? It is I thought he was making a joke. No, it is. T- I, I, I'm like, <laughs> it, it can't be toonies. <laughs> but 
But it is Toonies. Oh my god, it's Loonies and Toonies. Yes. I hate that. Looney, Looney Tunes. Ca- Canada, you got weird things going there, on there's there. There's a reason why Jerry the King Lawler refers to Canada as Bizarro World. <laughs> it's things like that. All right. Uh, apparently, I have one more thing here. You have uh, Nyko comments on bricked switches and the whole. Oh, this is new... important. Yes. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah. so so Nyko. So, Ni- the Nyko dock for the Switch. A lot of people have been talking to me about this. Yes. Because I made a video with the Nyko dock in it, and I was yeah. like, "This dock is great. Everything's great." Apparently, it bricks switches left and right. Yeah. And I was like, I did not know that it didn't brick mm-hmm. my switch. Uh, I can't. I actually reached out to Nyko and I said, "What do you guys say about this?" And they said, "We're aware of it. We're fix. We will replace your switch if it bre- if we break it. We're very sorry." And then they ran. At- they like stopped selling it on Amazon. Pretty yeah. much. Well, you could still. You, you can like pre order. I, I don't know. They 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 basically ran out of Nyko yeah. docs. They stopped selling them. So, uh, Nyko was offering to fix anybody's switches if they bricked it. Right. Um. Then, Nintendo. Um, updated the firmware to 5.0.0 yeah. and with that update then all I mean I don't know if it's all Nyko docs but it seems like the rest of them that weren't breaking your switches started bricking started switches, bricking switches. Yeah. so this got way crazier yeah I cannot wait to take mine and throw it in the trash Spawn Wave on YouTube yeah his got bricked really his switch got bricked I it, it's not even about the switch like they it, first of all they'll replace it yeah. that's fine second of all it you know I'll just it, it just it's just a material item I don't care it's the crap on it all of my saves yeah. my 100 hours of Mario Odyssey gone forever yeah not cool yeah not cool with that so anyway not, Nintendo and Nyko both res, uh, made a statement mm-hmm. uh, Nyko says Nyko is oh this is in a statement to Kotaku. Yes. Nyko is aware of the issue some portable docking kit owners are facing after updating the firmware on the Nintendo on their Nintendo Switch 2 version 5.0. Though further testing is still required to determine the exact root cause of the problem, we believe it is related to the way the Switch handles AV output for an external TV slash monitor while the console is docked on the portable docking kit. I believe. That it's their crappy uh, AC adapter. Uh, Nikos? Yeah, Nikos. I would recommend if you're going to get a portable, an, an additional dock, mm-hmm. either just get the Insignia one because that one seems to work fine, or get one of the cheapo ones on Amazon, but also get an additional Nintendo official charger. Okay. Because you want to make sure that charger yeah. is damn good and not going to break your Switch. Um, so that was Nikos' statement. I'm also pretty surprised that Nyko acknowledged it uh, as being because of the firmware update. I didn't think the firmware update would would do something like this. I mean, it's it seems like it would, because maybe like with this firmware update, they're trying to like lock out like third party docks. Well, like they like they could even tell. Funny you say that. Yes. Nintendo also made a statement. Mm. Nintendo recommends that Switch owners only buy official licensed Switch products. Unlicensed products and accessories do not undergo Nintendo's testing and evaluation process. They might not work at all with our game systems, and they could have compatibility problems with certain games, the Nintendo Switch system itself, and other licensed accessories and peripherals. If Nintendo intentionally did this, that is messed up that is very on messed so up. many yes. levels. I don't think they did, but it certainly seems like they changed the protocol in Firmware Update 5 and didn't tell anybody yes that is super messed up yeah they have to uh they have to realize that charging 90 dollars for the dock is ridiculous yes especially for what it is yeah when the switch was first announced and all the accessories were announced remember yeah. last year in like freaking january mm-hmm. we were like oh that dock is 90 dollars. there's got to be an upscaler in there and all this stuff there's nothing there's in nothing there. in there yeah. there's nothing in there it's sh- it's literally it's nothing. It, yeah. it it's just a splitter. It's just a, it's just a, a USB Type C splitter that has the MyCP protocol so that you can't use another splitter. Yeah. So you're forced to use their splitter. It's dumb. But anyway, um, they they 
when you when a big major console like this releases a firmware update, they need to give it to they need to beta test it with accessory manufacturers. Yes. That's very important, yes. especially when it's something like this that's going to have power going through it. Um, I I don't think there's any officially licensed Switch docks out there in the wild. Not that I know of. It's just the Nintendo yeah. one. Hori is an officially licensed uh, Switch accessory manufacturer, yeah. but they don't make a dock. I don't. They they probably don't want other people making docks. Right. Yeah. You know, for reasons like this. Yeah. But. They need to make their dock cheaper. Yes. Or, again, beta tech. Because, like, all right, you don't want other people making making docks. Mm-hmm. But they are. Yeah. And your people who have your $300 product have those docks. And now you just bricked their mm-hmm. docks. Like, it, it's their fault and your fault. Even <laughs> worse, there's still no way to back up saves. Yes. That is also a major problem. Yes. There's pro- like, everything probably could have been, like, Alleviates the tiny bit if there's a way to back up saves. I I thought about uh, like like when we leave here, it's a little sketchy over here. In the yeah. I thought about leaving here and like somebody like give me your backpack. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, you can have everything, but please let me have my SD card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think you can use the SD card in another switch. I don't. I don't think you can. And the SD card is just your games. It's not even your save to have. Uh, so I would have to be like, please let me keep my Switch. I'll give you, yeah, I'll Venmo you $300. The second you tell me you have a Switch. <laughs> I might, I might, I might fight off a guy with a gun just to have my yeah. 100 hours of Mario Odyssey. That, that would be it. That would be enough. Like you could have the laptop. Yep. You can have everything else in there. But that Switch is mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, Nyko is at fault for this, but Nintendo isn't off the hook. Yeah. We got five actual, actual dollars. God <laughs> bless America dollars. From Joey Bonzo. Hey, yo, Joey Bonzo. Joey Bonds. With a nice, uh, that looks like a Ludwig kit. Thanks for the stream, you handsome YouTube boys. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, last thing that I had on my, oh, I had two more things. Let's blow through these. All right. Uh, there's another little accessory thing going on. Yes. Hori. Just like we were just talking about them. Yes. This is a terrible website. Um, is this is last Thursday, so this is pretty old news by yeah. now. Uh, Hori is making that mystical uh, left Joy-Con with uh, actual real D-pad. D-pad. So there's a couple of caveats with this D-pad. There's a lot of caveats with this D-pad. Uh, first of all, that is definitely a render. It is not going to look like that. Yeah, no. Uh, that looks really good. It looks like a freaking uh, Joy-Con, and mm-hmm. Hori is an officially licensed Nintendo. Yes, you know manufacturer but that looks a little too good i don't think it's gonna look like this yeah probably not especially that thumbstick that looks yeah. that that this is a render um and it's actually from hori i thought somebody made this render but it, no this is what it, yeah anyway uh it's only 25 dollars, which is awesome yeah which is great it it's not wireless so it has to be on the switch yeah it can only be played in portable mode yes uh that means it won't work in the grip yeah um or well, it won't have rumble. Won't have rumble, and it won't have. What else am I missing? Won't have motion controls. Motion controls. Yes. Yeah. Now here's why I think that's fine. A few reasons. Okay. First, it's only twenty five dollars. Yes. And Joy Cons are freaking expensive. They're very expensive. Uh, I think they're forty dollars, right, for one. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, forty or fifty dollars. No, fifty for one yeah. if you get a brand new one. Uh, so it's cheaper, so that's good. Two. The only other time, like you're not gonna use this controller on its own, right? So having it in tabletop mode, you're not gonna play it in tabletop mode because, yeah. like, if you pass the controller off, you're not gonna play like that. You're you're you're, you're not gonna play this with one hand because you have a thumbstick and a D-pad. That's not yeah. gonna work. Uh, you will, however, possibly play it uh, in a grip. Yeah, I think that functionality being removed is a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I think the fact that you can't play it in grip is a big problem. Yeah. But also, since you won't be playing it uh, in a grip or in split Joy-Con or you know alone in its own yeah. place, it doesn't need rumble because the right Joy-Con will have it. Right. And it doesn't need motion controls because the right Joy-Con will have it. Right. So in docked mode, it, motion will still work and everything. 
Well, okay, but then what about because there are, what if there are games where it needs the left rumble? You know, because you know maybe that's not gonna happen. You don't think they'll happen? No games are gonna need a left rumble because you know maybe like the the right rumble will go off if you're by the right side or left rumble. Will yeah, go off that's by like the left a side. feature, something you know? like that. That's like something you'd be missing. Uh, motion, I, it, it the, won't be necessary if the game requires. Like both Joy Cons to have motion, that might be a problem. That well, that would be you'd have to remove both Joy Cons. Yeah, and then you just well, like when I play Mario Odyssey, I played it in portable mode, and to do the motion controls, like you do that. You yeah, like the that. right Joy Con when it's when it's in portable mode, uh-huh. it only registers the right Joy Con. Oh really? Yeah, so oh. it doesn't even use motion from oh. the left. So that's why not having motion controls, I think, is totally fine. Okay, the only thing that sucks is not being able to use it in a, in a Joy-Con grip. Yeah. I think that's the only I think thing that's, that's a very big that's problem. A problem. Yeah. They should make an accessory that makes it connect to the right Joy-Con mm-hmm. in the grip. That yeah. would be cool if that's even possible. Yeah. That way you can use it in a grip. That would be mm-hmm. cool, but I don't know. Josh Green says quit screwing with the plant with the plant. Why though? Yes. <laughs> It's our plants. Get your own plant. It's our plant. Listen, man. Get your own freaking plant yeah. if you want a plant. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. I still so like I'm I'm a very big advocate for for D pads. Uh huh. Wish that was where the thumbstick is. I think the thumbstick and that should be switched. Like a PS4 controller. Yes. Why? Because I want the D pad up where it should. You know, I don't want to have to have my thumb down here. I want my thumb uh, to guess, be comfortable. Yeah. You know. So that's my problem. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to have to get this to make a video on it. Uh, but I wouldn't buy it because we have the 8-bit ones, the 8-bit dull ones, and those are great. Yeah. And you have a Pro Controller. And I have a Pro Controller. Yeah. we got a lot of things going on here. Uh, lastly, the last thing that I had to talk about mm-hmm. was this freaking game, Royal. Somebody te- uh, tweeted this to me. Okay. I'm very excited. Uh, create your own Mario-like masterpieces with Platago Super platform maker game maker hmm. it's a freaking it's basically it's 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 like an off-brand mario maker oh wow yeah all, it is it is a very off-brand mario but maker. it's it's a platforming maker so you can i think you could also make mega man style levels too oh so this is out on steam already i've never even heard of this yeah. until just now when they announced that it's coming for the switch i need this freaking game this is gonna be a big deal for me yeah and hopefully this will uh, light a fire under Nintendo's ass to get yeah. some Mario Maker out there in the world. So I'm excited about this. And that's all I had. All right. What do you got, Will? All right. Let's just pop through it real quick because I only got like two stories. So X-Men, Dark Phoenix, and New Mutants have been delayed till next year. New Mutants was already delayed till next year. The movie. Yeah. Yeah. The New Mutants doesn't look good. Yeah, well, they delayed it. It was supposed to come out in April. They delayed it till next year. I don't think anybody's excited. Then they delayed it even further. This movie's not from February out. to August. X Men: Dark Phoenix was supposed to come out in November, I think, of this year, and then that got delayed till next year. Dark Phoenix, is this going to be the same cast from same Apocalypse? cast from Apocalypse? Okay, so James McAvoy, uh, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence. All those people. X Men First Class and X Men Days of Future Past. Yes, were awesome. Yes, some of the best. I would say, some of the best X Men movies. Yes, absolutely. Apocalypse, not good. One of the worst X Men movies. It was. It wasn't good. Or very good. It was very bad. Yeah. I don't know what happened. That trilogy went way downhill. Yeah. It was very disappointing. So uh, I don't know. How, I don't know how um, this is gonna go. So X Men Dark Phoenix. I knew he was going to ask me this. <laughs> okay, I'm Cherokee. Thoughts on Dark Knight's Metal 6 and Doomsday Clock 4. I have them. I have not read them yet. Because for Metal, I want to read all of them again before I dive right into 6. Because I forgot everything before I read 5. So I need a refresher. And as for Doomsday Clock, I have not gotten a chance to it. So ask me, ask me again next week. Do not pay me for it. <laughs> Um, I will. Uh, I have to read Doomsday Clock yeah. when, when the trades come out. Yeah, uh, you definitely should. It's worth it. Uh, so far, at least. Um, so, 
X Men Dark Phoenix was going to be the directorial debut of Simon Kinberg, who had been the franchise like co writer and producer this whole time. Um, they have they did like a test screen and stuff and ran fine, but they need to do a lot of reshoots. The problem is all the actors in it because they're not now all like big time actors their schedules yeah. is completely you know out of whack and sophie turner who plays gene gray the titular dark phoenix has to do game of thrones stuff oh uh, and that's gonna take a long that's time that's kind of a big deal so that's why x-men is delayed very for substantially because all their schedules are out of whack so that kind of makes sense it's not necessarily you know a bad thing it's just they can't get the actors together. New Mutants, on the other hand, they initially delayed it because they wanted to add more horror elements to it. And now they're delaying it even further. <laughs> Viper in the chat says, where it is, they need to reshoot like 80% of New Mutants. Yeah. Like they're adding completely new characters to it. Just and things like that. Can that movie. Yeah. It does not look good. No, it doesn't. Also, Luis in the chat I still I keep forgetting if it's Lewis or Louise. Uh Dark Phoenix better be just like X Men cartoon. Like like it is in the cartoon. Yeah, it probably won't. <laughs> there were set photos released and it looks like they're all wearing their uh, the black and yellow costume from Grant Morrison's New Mutants. Oh. Wait. That is Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. New Mutants. Dark the- Phoenix is wearing New Mutants outfit. Sorry. New X Men. Ah, okay. It's Graham Morrison's new X-Men ah. black and yellow costumes. Right, 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 right. Sorry. Right. It's very confusing. There are too many X-Men movies. And New Mutants doesn't look all that hot. But Deadpool apparently is going to be fine. That's still on track. The, they had another test screening that went well. So, yeah. No need to worry about that. Good. Dark Did- Phoenix, they're just scheduling. And then New Mutants, they don't know what they're doing with that. David Jew, they need to put New Mutants in a Nyko talk. Yeah. I get it. Uh, Why is everybody talking about Labo? Did something happen with Labo? Did something happen with Labo? I don't know. Somebody spammed it in the chat and they just timed them out. Yeah. All right. And then real quick, um, filming has begun on Captain Marvel. Marvel's Captain Marvel. Uh, I can't wait for that movie. Uh, That's going to be a damn good movie. What's interesting is in the press release, uh, they said it will be set in the 90s, which we kind of already knew. I didn't know. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. No. That's crazy. It's going to be set in the 90s. Uh, Here. Based on the Marvel Comics character first introduced in 1968, the story follows Carol Danvers as she becomes one of the most po- one of the universe's most powerful heroes when Earth is caught in the middle of a galactic war between two alien races. Set in the 1990s, Captain Marvel is an all-new adventure from a previously unseen period in the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So we know it stars Brie Larson as Captain America, uh, Captain America as Captain Marvel. She looks damn good. Yes, it also stars Samuel L. Jackson. As a pre... You didn't know this, sir? I didn't know any of this. All right. So, <laughs> we it, it was confirmed that Sam Jackson was going to be in the movie as a pre-scarred Nick Fury. Okay. This, oh. This movie is potentially um, is going to explain how he lost his eye. Oh, damn. It's also going to have Ben Mendelsohn as the main bad guy, because that's all he can play. Uh, Jude Law is the original Captain Marvel, Marvel. Here's Here's where things get... Much more interesting. Okay. Because I'm already release, very interested. <laughs> this press release from Marvel confirms that Clark Gregg, Lee Pace, and Digimon Husanu, which I know I'm pronouncing wait, wrong. Wait, wait, Digimon? <laughs> Digimon. You said Digimon. I, I <laughs> either way, I'm, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. All right, all right. So Fine. Clark Gregg, Lee Pace, and Digimon Husanu. Digimon, uh, Mega Guru, Greymon. You don't know who any of those guys are. No, I'm not. Clark Gregg is Coulson. Okay. This is his first appearance in a Marvel movie since the first Avengers. Right. So now they're bringing him back into the movie. Oh, wait, I knew this. And the other guy is the dude from Lee Guardians Pace of the Galaxy. Is Ronan. Yeah. And Dig- Dijon Usano <laughs> was also in Guardians. He was Ronan's, uh, I forget the character's name, like it's Bounty Hunter guy. The okay. guy with the robot with the eyes. All right. You'd you know him if you saw a picture of him. Right. So, so, so the Guardians of the Galaxy bad guys are going to be bad guys in this. Yes. So this is connected somehow to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Very interesting. Because Ronan, I think, is a Kree, and the Skrull feature very prominently in Captain Marvel. Okay. And I think this is going to take place during the Kree Skrull War. I this is blowing my mind that it's going to be the '90s. 
You really didn't know that. I really didn't know that. So, like, is she just not going to be incorporated with the... With well, that's the, the thing. I think it's going to be like a Captain America situation where, in a, you know, right now it doesn't say she's going to be in Avengers 3. Maybe she's off-world. Yeah. But Avengers 4, she lands on Earth and be like, what did I miss? That's true. That, that, that's probably going to yeah. happen. Or there's an end credit scene at the end of Avengers 3 and it's her. I'm, I'm excited for this movie. She looks freaking awesome. Yeah, in their wrong colored outfit. but Yeah, it's a wrong colored outfit, but the outfit covers her entire body. Yeah. Which I think is <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah. That, all right, so that's all I got. That, I think, I'm, I'm excited for. When's that movie out? Uh, March 8th of 2019. Okay, that's not too far mm-hmm. off. And Infinity War is the end of next month. April 27th, yes. Damn. Well, uh, I'm not gonna. I was just gonna ask what your video plans are, but I'm not gonna. I got, I got, I got video plans. I got one major one, and I got to think of a bunch of other ones. Oh, Cam Cherokee had a had a little gripe with your video today. Yeah, apparently I, I forgot to mention Thanos Quest. Yes, I was specifically just referring to comics with the word Infinity in it, because there's a lot. Yeah, and it, and I know it can get confusing because I was I've been listening to podcasts with people as knowledgeable as us getting confused as to which ones to read. I mean Marvel. Especially, what time period was this? 91. Okay. Yeah. 80s, Marvel especially, whacked out of its mind. I'm assuming that bled into early 90s. Oh, yeah. I always imagined like the 90s were worse. Very. that's when you had like Age of Apocalypse, the Clone Saga, the rise of Liefeld and McFarlane and Lee. Very confusing. Yeah. Uh, Thanos, I mean, uh, Infinity Gauntlet looks awesome though yeah from the pictures i was looking at when i was making a thumbnail yeah also finding that one page because i re i really wanted the thumbnail to be that thanos breaking captain america's yeah. shield because that was awesome and finding that was very hard yeah no it's a lot <laughs> and if you look at the photoshop document of that thumbnail there's yeah. like 10 different things that i was like maybe this one no maybe this one no maybe this one yeah uh okay so that's all you guys that's, that's all, I, all got. I got yeah right let me just double check here oh well then we have to do the tweet of the week tweet of the week tweet of the week tweet of the week uh is this the tweet of the week oh this was this was uh this is like almost a week old but uh okay here it is anyway <laughs> uh we gotta we gotta we gotta put some audio here <laughs> <laughs> Play again. There ah! it is. So this is what Pokemon is this? Who cares? This is Quags Quagsire, the Pokemon. Just but it's Pokemon Go, and he like opens his mouth in yeah. the animation, and uh, this is for the podcast listeners. And he's just yelling at the top of his lungs. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh, this tweet's by Tom Fox. Very good. Very That's good. Funny. Jolly good show. Yes. Oh, it might have been off sync for the, ah whatever. Who cares? Whatever. Anyway, oh, I've, I've totally forgot about this unboxing. Oh, yeah, unboxing. let's do that. As I now hit 20% battery life. I'm 21, baby. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so there's this big thing. And this is gonna. This is a project. I know what this is. This is going to be a... This is, this is going to be a whole ordeal. Is it Labo? No, God, no. I mean, it could be, because it's cardboard. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. This is... This game, I think it was a Kickstarter thing on guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was not expecting. What is this? Let's clear off this thing. Yeah. Get my thing out of here. So this is this game called Clask. Okay. What does it say? Get your hand under that table. Try to score, but watch out for the hole. Always watch out for yes. the hole. Clask. All right. Simple rules, fun for many ages, easy to learn, deeply absorbing. It's basically, Bernie, it's basically, uh, like Bernie Decovan, major fun. It's like hockey with magnets. Magnets? How do they work? It's a meme. All right. This is freaking cool. Interesting. There's a link in the description to it. I put it there because I knew what it was already. Oh my god, it fits perfectly on here. Oh wow. So you see, you see, you got to get the ball in the holes. Okay. Can you see this from the? Th- oh no, you can't. That's what it looks like. 
Should have had like a second camera. Yeah, I wasn't. You know what? Well, I was not thinking. Next week. No, we're not. Playing no, we're not. Next week. Next week. <laughs> so, here's the little little ball, guys. What the hell are these things? Oh, okay. I see how this is. Okay. I'll flip it. Flip it back around. What are these fucking things? Uh, now I gotta. Damn it. What? What's your problem? You said F. Oh. <laughs> F. Hour 12. So, these are little magnet guys. One goes on top, one goes on the bottom, and you control it from the bottom. So, like that. And then. You gotta, you gotta play with me. You gotta play with no, me. I'm sorry. I was marking down your. I don't know what these chips are. I'm not reading the cuss rules. Words. All I know is that let's play one. Let's play one around here. Ooh. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get the ball in the in the little thingy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt this this way. Oh no, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I won. My thing fell apart. All right, let's do one more. All right. <laughs> You're gonna wreck me with I this. Know. Oh, I see. This is great for podcast listeners. Yeah. It's like tabletop hockey. Oh, yeah, my you can thing, fix it. You can fix it. I think he's falling in the. Well, don't the, suck so bad at the game. Well, don't. I suggest uh, anybody who's listening on a podcast to look up Clask because it's a cool looking thing. I yeah, don't know. It's neat. I don't know how much it is. I keep. You keep, keep sucking dick. Hole, All right, yeah. that's enough of this. It's a cool game. Yeah. You want it? Take it home to your wife. All right, yeah. It was, <laughs> it's a cool little thing to break out at a party. I mean, I'm not a tabletop game person, but no. It's like a it's, it's a cool thing. All right. Uh, now is when we talk to you guys. Yes. Uh, you can either use the hashtag Wolf Den Live if you're not here and listening to us on the podcast. Um, you can leave a comment on last week's uh, YouTube video, and we will look at that also. Or, uh, that's it, right? That's it. Yeah. I mean, you can also, if you're watching us live right now, leave a comment and we will get to it. There's that one. After I knew I was forgetting else. that. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, okay. So, using the hashtag WolfDenLive, we got here. Oh, we got a lot of people. Too much, I would say. Too much. Too often. What What was even the date? Oh, not those, not those, not those. Tommy Rojas, this was six days ago. Will, any news on Black Label? Oh, no, we said that last week. Yeah. Uh, no, that was last week, last week, last week. Oh, six hours ago. Okay. Uh, my midterms are no more, and it's time to play hashtag Wolf Den Live. And it's King Mon High with a video of him. Oh, it's a fight stick. It's him it's bashing a fight stick. Is that a second fight stick? That's a very nice that fight is. stick. Uh, and then a little skeet skeet. What are some of the better games in all of Nintendo's library that you think would transfer well to the Switch's portability via Virtual Console? Super Mario Sunshine. Any of the Metroid games. Okay. I think those are very good portable games. I don't know about specifically portability. Switch's portability. Well, I mean, he, ma- he mentioned portability. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm thinking, like, what is best with portability in yeah. mind? And honestly, I don't... I don't think, like, there's very small reasons to make a game, like, catered to portability. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, shorter save states, like having save states and yeah. checkpoints closer together. Uh, Metal Gear uh, Peace Walker does a really good job yeah. of this, of having uh, short level sections. But... That being said, I don't think a game necessarily needs to be catered towards portability. I don't think so either, but I think it helps in certain cases. Like Mario Odyssey, you know, all the things are like, you know, you can do it in quick bursts. Like right. You just get one star and put the thing down. They get another star and right. put the thing down. I think that you can be uh, aggressively unportable if you have really long cutscenes. Or really long stretches of gameplay that you can't save in between mm-hmm. or pause and close the thing. But uh, most games, I think, are very fine with portability. Yes. Um, Simone Stig. Oh, wait. Screw you, Simone Stig. <laughs> we got Too Old for Fandom with so many clooples. 
He says, the best comic to read before Infinity War is none. MCU greater than comics. Fight me. I bet you agree. I agree that the MC, that the Marvel movies are, cur- are currently better than the Marvel comics. All right. You know, but I, I guess you would say that there are some comics that are better than some movies. Yes. Like Hawkeye. Hawkeye is Yeah, Hawkeye, Hawkeye is much better as a comic. Um, Simone Stig. Have you read Ready Player One? Do you think the movie is going to be faithful to the book or just a nostalgia refer- referential CGI mess? I read the first chapter. <laughs> I was. I keep meaning to ask you if I can borrow your, your book, but I keep forgetting to. Yeah, you can borrow the book. All right. Um, I've been hearing both about Ready Player One. I've been hearing it's a very good, and that the references aren't bad, and then I've been hearing it is a reference fest. I really want to see it. I think I'm, I'm going to enjoy curious it. Curious about it. So I don't know. I might. It might be a wait thing for me, but I'm not against it. Tommy Rojas also using the hashtag Wolf Den Live says, fix your stream. I'm going to f- check the stream right now, the audio, and if everything's fine, I'm going to unmod you. <laughs> <laughs> everything's fine. You're on the ropes, mister. <laughs> You're on the ropes right now. Fred Bushy, have you ever met a girl that you tried to date, but a year to make love and she wanted you to wait? <laughs> what? Is that thing? What That's, is this? Yeah. Have you ever met a girl that you tried to date, but a year to make love, she wanted you to wait? No, I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? No, what is it? That is the first line to Just a Friend by Biz Marquee. Oh, okay. Put that song in your watch later, Q, and listen <laughs> All right. to it. Fine. I'm sorry, I don't know many rap songs. I only know one sung by Will Smith. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Lip to Rock. <clears throat> You can choose any DC characters, any writer, and any artist to make up your dream Justice League team book. Who would make up your team and who would write it and draw it? Um, my team, it would probably be written by Jeff Johns. It would be the New 52 lineup, but you swap out Cyborg for Martian Manhunter. An artist... I would say I want to pick an artist who doesn't get enough credit. Actually, he gets a lot of credit, but I like his work. Um, Francis Manipal. Ah, he's very good. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sean Murphy. Yes, he's very good. Sean Actually, Murphy. scratch Jeff Johns. I want to see Greg Rucka do it. Ah. Yeah, because I don't think he's done a team book, and I think he'd be very good. I'm going to agree with everything you said. Yeah. The new 52 lineup is basically the, with, with uh, Marshall Manhunter in there, is basically the cartoon, right? Well, no, because the cartoon had uh, John Stewart, Green Lantern, and Hawk Girl. Ah. And new 52 had Hal Jordan okay. and Aquaman. That's fine. The upcoming Scott Snyder Justice League is going to have the cartoon lineup plus Aquaman and Cyborg. So that'll be interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna just agree with everything yes. you said. All right, that's it for the hashtag. Okay, last week. Oh yeah, that's right. Last week, did Fred put that? Yes, he did. Calling motion. I've been eagerly waiting for Hyperlight Shifter for the Switch since launch, and only found out about the announcement because Wolf Den Live. So you guys are better than Nintendo Direct. Hey, yeah, it wasn't in the direct. Yeah, what a bunch of assholes. Uh, for the second, for a second version of the Switch, they need to solve the overheating issues. Many people have reported their screens detaching from the console yes, because of this. I've heard of that. So I and like the battery swells really? and, and the screen pushes out. Yeah. So the only time I've ever felt it like get hot was when I had it in dock mode. The one time I put it in dock. Yeah, you mode. never put it in dock. Yeah. mode. Yeah. I, I put it in dock mode because I went I went on vacation. I exclusively play mine in dock mode, yeah. and I've been totally everything's been fine. Okay. And I use the official dock too. Yeah, I don't even too. use the third part because I don't know where the hell my third party docks went. I had them all together, yeah. and then now they're all gone. <laughs> I had so many, I have like nine third-party docs. Well, the, they're all uh, the gone. The basement is in disarray. Yeah, every so. th- my life is in disarray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've heard of I've heard of the screen detach like coming out. The same yeah. thing happens with iPhones. I've, iPhones they bubble and the screen yeah. comes up a little bit. Um, but I've also heard of them bending from overheating in the dock. Interesting. 
the dock does the, the the official Nintendo dock isn't made well for ventilation. Yeah. Uh, I recommend taking the back of the dock and ripping the back door off, just completely ripping yeah. it off. Because uh, first of all, you don't even have to rip it off; it comes all right off. But second of all, it blocks a lot of the heat from getting uh-huh. into it. So just take that off, and then you're good. What was that? What is that? Who's that? Okay, I'm Cherokee, your boy, man. This. <laughs> We'll talk about we'll talk about having a pre post pre post crisis Justice League. I just want the standard Justice League. That's your standard Justice League, though, right? But that when people think of the standard Justice League, they think Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, yes, the Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, because that's the original lineup. Original based on what the comics? The comics, yeah. That's the original comic lineup. The original lineup? standard oh, okay. comic lineup. I didn't know that. And then you know that was the standard for many years. That was the one Grant Morrison used when he relaunched Justice League. And aside from Cyborg replacing Martian Manhunter, that was the lineup in New Fifty Two. And that's why the cartoon, the Justice League cartoon, basically used that lineup, but swapped out Hawk, uh, swapped in Hawk Girl for Aquaman because they wanted another woman on the team. Uh, I stopped paying attention to you because apparently something's going on on screen right now. Okay. Is that what Tommy Rojas was referring to when he said fix the stream? What's going on? What happened? Oh! I <laughs> I have the wrong uh, screen up right now. I have the one that we oh, use for Twitch. That AJ's name is in the corner. Oh! And the double vision, that is the webcam. That's my. That's where I would be in the webcam. And green things, like if you hold up the plant, will be entirely see-through and not green at all. This is black because it's see-through because it's the green screen drops out. Interesting. I get, that might have been what Tommy was saying. Okay, Tommy, yeah. you're not on the ropes anymore. You're fine. I appreciate you now telling me to fix things. Um. All right. Anyway, uh, last week, uh, right. Common Boy. What's the best Assassin's Creed game? Probably Brotherhood. I haven't played all of them. Yeah. So I don't want to... The second one was the best at the time that it released. Yes. I will say. Because that fixed so many problems yeah. that people had with the first and game. And Brotherhood is just more of two. Yeah. So one of those. <laughs> um, Ashley. Once you get everything all set up, I'd love to see this new setup. That would be a cool vid. Uh, I'd show it in my uh, YouTube videos every once in a while. Actually, no, at the end of this, before we're done, pick up the remind camera. me, I'll pick up the camera and just do a turnaround. It's right. really nothing yeah. exciting. Uh, oh, we got another super chat. Oh, wow. Lethal Storm, $2. The new Odyssey outfits, Bob, also Mania. Oh, somebody put that in the chat. And... Someone put it in the chat again. Ravix. Bob, you check out the new outfits for Odyssey. The satellite view is a nice throwback and looks great. I didn't know what is this. I haven't I haven't heard of new outfits. Well, I don't know. I would have made a much bigger deal if I knew about this. All right, well you do that. Uh, f- Fred, why do you guys like Crisis? Because it's good. The game. Yeah. Uh, it's very good. Yeah. Also, the mul- I really like the multiplayer because it was basically um, it was basically Call of Duty or it was it was like right in between Call of Duty and Halo. Yeah. And you had so like you know how Call of Duty got all these weird abilities where you mm-hmm. can like double jump and stuff, and it kind of broke the game. It added all of these things that made the whole game super complicated. Crisis had those abilities kind of first. Yeah. And, uh, oh, no, 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 that's what it was. Halo, uh, Halo Reach, I think yes. it was, had all of these abilities. Mm-hmm. And they stole them from Crisis. But in Crisis, you have them all at the same time. And you can switch between them mm-hmm. on the fly. Um, Halo Reach, you can only pick one at a time. Yeah. And it was basically the same abilities. That's, I, it, 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 had a mechanic those abilities that made it really good i liked crisis i like crisis 2 specifically because of its pacing it was paced incredibly well it like ramped up and then like it valleyed 
like substantial but then it like would ramp up and keep ramping until you get to like this big climax and then you would stop and you can catch your breath and you move on to the next thing i remember fighting like this big mech in the middle of times square and it's being very intense it was challenging but fair um and it just was the type of game that would lead you down a path and you wanted to see what was next that end you could do everything a million different ways yeah i think that's really important yeah that makes a game that adds so much more it value to it. It wasn't open world, but every section was open enough that you can like approach it in a thousand yeah. different ways. And you had those five different abilities. Yes. And I mean, I like to stealth in games, and this is one of those games where you can play the whole thing completely stealth. Yeah. And then uh, this is Crisis Two we're talking about. Yeah. Three was similar, but yeah. the crossbow was kind of stupid. I am down to ten percent better life. Uh, so. It, it made it so that you're trying to stealth and then all of a sudden you get caught and then all hell breaks loose and then you use all the abilities. Yeah. It's really good. Somebody link me to these new outfits and the satellite view that you're talking yes. about. I have no idea what you're talking about in Mario Odyssey. Uh, Cats and Lick. I'm butchering your name. Cats Holloway. I like both narrative ga- and gameplay focused games. I generally lean towards awesome gameplay, but there are some games I will deal with flaws that would turn me away if the narrative was not good enough. Yeah. Um, I I mean, gameplay is the most important thing in a video right. game. But there are games I'm willing to suffer through a bad gameplay if the story is in, like really good. Yeah. You know? I can't think of one off the top of my head. But yeah, it's, there's not a lot. But. Yeah. Firewatch, I wish, was one of those games where I would suffer through the bad gameplay for a good story, but the yeah. story's not good. So... But you know, the walking simulators are a good example. Those, yeah. they're, they're, you're literally just playing it for the story. The mm-hmm. game, there's no gameplay there. So, well, actually, uh, freaking, uh, well, a way out. Uh, it's not. I wasn't really playing it for the story. I was yeah. playing it for the experience. All right. Two dollars. A dollar ninety nine from Rain Nub. Not Need Nub. Rain Nub. Yes, his cousin. Uh, what's worse, Battlefront Two or COD Infinite Warfare? I never played Infinite Warfare. Yes, I did. Did I? No, Advanced Warfare I played. I played Infinite Warfare. That was not good. Uh, so probably Battlefront yeah. 2 then. All right, well, AJ just sent me... The link. Brand new costumes and yeah. Super Mario Odyssey. Added to Super Mario Odyssey. When, when did this... Did this... Incoming. All right, let me put this on screen here. Oh, I could just click the link on the screen. Hopefully I won't screw up the whole stream this time. This is freaking cool. Uh, yeah. Two new costumes are now available. Oh, now available? I would have made a much bigger deal about this if I knew about this. Along with the satellite view, sa- sa- saddle of view helmet. Satellite view. Satellite view suit. Players can also spend their coins on the uh, batting helmet and baseball uniform. I have to grind coins like crazy. Here's a closer look at the two costumes. There they are. What is the Satella view? The Satella view was a like it was an add-on for the Super Famicom in Japan, where basically you can download like games and stuff via satellite dish. Oh, that's freaking cool! If you ever heard of a, of a game called BS Zelda, that's it's that was a Satella view game. Oh my God! It was basically a 16-bit. It was basically a Super Mario All Stars version of the original Zelda. That's freaking cool. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Uh, but I have so much more grinding to do now. Yeah. Uh, BLC with two schmooples. Got to two, go. Toonies uh, toonie. are great. Go Canada. Great stream. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And your false money. <laughs> uh, Mr. Brock Rock says, date on the article is the 28th. Oh, today. It happened today. There you go. Today is the 28th. There you go. All right, now we're in the chat, I guess. Yes. Which, which we've, I, been, we've been in the chat. Which I have on my phone because my computer is at 8%. Listen, man, I think we could do it before your phone dies. Yeah. My computer dies. Oh, you won't be able to do the... Uh, well, you have to wait until the thing downloads. Yeah, well, I'm going to plug it in. Oh, you have your charger. Yeah, oh, this is less charger. dire than I was expecting. Right, but, you know, how? where am I going to plug it in right now? Everything's plugged into something. You have a search protector right there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, my bag's over there. If you could just hand me my bag. Yes. Uh, 
I used my nut sack the other day. Oh yeah, how was my that? Nut sack bag. It was good. Oh, I put the Wii U in it. That's what I did. Nice. Uh, Ian Quinn, these costumes are some deep cuts. They are deep cuts. Nick C, how are you guys, fr friend or like brothers? We're I'm not, new to this channel and just want to know. We're we not are, like brothers. We are lovers. We are brothers. We are married. We are actual brothers. We are married. See his ring? Yeah. This, we are married. Where's your ring, though, asshole? You I never don't wear, wear the it. ring. I never wear No, we're brothers. We are absolutely Wolf is brothers. our last name. Yes. <coughs> hey, Bob, I have an apology is needed. What do you think, Will? Yeah, you should apologize to Tommy. Tommy Ross, Tommy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Tommy. I'm so sorry, but be more specific next time, Tommy. <laughs> I'm over here looking like a jackass because of you. Uh, uh, what else we got here? Somebody said Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I don't know why he said that, but I think that's a really cool look for something like a Pokemon. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, do I play with the plant that much? Like in I do. I know oh, I do. you do. do. Okay. I know. I... I've, my fidget cube is in my jacket uh, pocket, so I, I gotta also fidget with something. Probably make a lot of noise. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Brock Rock, do you think Nintendo is now charging or leveraging their influence to only let certain games or Nindies direct? Why we had separate announcements outside of direct? I just think that they had their priorities misaligned. I think that they thought that some games were going to be more popular than the ones that they didn't announce. Yeah. Um, I think that they're very out of touch. And that's why. Yeah. So I, I don't think it was any... Uh, I don't think it's any sort of like wheeling and dealing they're doing. Yeah. Uh, Bone Crusher, have you seen the new Battlefront 2 progression system? Any thoughts? Did we talk about this last we week? We did talk about it last yeah. week. It's basically similar to Battlefront 1. Which is good. Yeah. I still don't know if I'm ever going to play this game. Yeah, me neither. Pavch... Br br bleh, PV, PB. Bob, you have a dope accent. Do you try to say Mario like everyone else instead of your native accent, though? I've always wondered. Do you try to say Mario like everyone else instead of your native accent? I don't say it like everyone else. You say Mario. I say it... I say it weird... Apparently, yeah. according to the internet, I say Mario very weird. So, I don't try to say it any other way. And the only time I tried to say it the normal way, uh, which is Mario. Mario. The only way I, the only time I ever tried to do that was in the Nintendo Switch commercial we did. Yeah. Uh, because I wanted it. I just wanted yeah. to be normal for a, a brief second. <laughs> uh, Professor Oak. Hey, Bob. Guinness or Corona? Corona. Yeah. Uh, not that it's great. Not yeah, that Corona no. is good, but Guinness tastes like a loogie because I, it's it's. You ever have Guinness? Yeah, it's thick. It's disgusting. Yeah. I hate it so much. I don't know, it's like people like down Guinness like it's water. I I don't get it. It's it's very bizarre. Yeah. I mean, it tastes fine, but the texture is bizarre. Yeah, I'm not a fan of like. Thicker, I'm a blue moon guy. I thick, like blue dark moon. beers. Thick dark. Yeah. Beers. beers. Yep. Uh, Waldem, is Star Fox dead? Yes. I hope not. And take that up with AJ. And go watch his podcast that I was on because we talk about, we argue about Star Fox a lot. Star Fox. That's uh, Fanax 4. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, ZYX. Z oh, ZYX. Will, I really hope, I really enjoyed your video today. I was confused about the Infinity War and Gauntlet books relating to the upcoming movie. Thank you. Yeah, that's, I. Just, I don't understand why more because the the Infinity Trilogy is Gauntlet, War, and Crusade. Fine, whatever. Um, and then they just keep coming back to it with like now. The, apparently, there's a, a new miniseries coming out this year called Infinity War. That's that's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mr. Brock Rock says Guinness is like drinking a loaf of bread. I say that every time somebody chugs a beer. I said that's like eating a whole loaf of bread. I can't do that. Yeah, they, they say, like, one beer is equivalent to a loaf of bread. Like, yeah. all beers. And it's ridiculous. It's so. ridiculous when people pound beers. Yeah. I would get so full. Yeah. Common Boy also says, Corona tastes like garbage, though. Well, it's not, it's not a high-quality beer. It's, it's like a, it's like a sorority Again, girl beer. I would never be like, man, I could really use a Corona right now. Yeah. If given the option Guinness or Corona, I would say Corona. Yes. But there better be a lime in it. 
Yeah. Uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, let's take one or two more. Okay. Mm-hmm. J1TM says, hey, Bob and Will. Hey. A good boy. Hey, do any of you know how to fix a Switch's L button? I dropped my Switch on pavement. Yes, I do know. Buy a new Joy-Con. Yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. You do not want to open up a Joy-Con. Watch no. my video called Famicom style Nintendo Switch or something. And it is me playing with the Joy-Cons, yeah. like opening them up, and it is a nightmare. Just get a new Joy-Con. Um, Damon. No, it might be off topic, but I've always wondered why they haven't made an open world MMORPG based on Mario Brothers World. Do you think it's ever possible? MMORPG? No. I don't think that's possible. I don't think they would do that. That's weird. Because then yeah. everybody would be of unique character yeah. in the Mario world, unless there's just going to be different colored toads. That's yeah. weird. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think happening. it would work. But an RPG, play the Mario and Luigi series. Yes. Uh, though, though, that's an RPG. You got one over there? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right. Uh, oh, well, I'll take this one. Luis says, next Joy-Con color. I bet you we'll see Samus colored ones for Metroid. Ooh, that would be dope. Bet you we will. I would love that. Pokemon, maybe. Maybe we'll get a Pokemon yellow. Like maybe. a Pikachu yellow. Yeah, we'll get a Pikachu yellow. Uh, yeah, I'd say that before Metroid. Yeah. All right, that's it. All right. Yeah, you can do the spiel. Well, you usually do, thanks for being here, and then I go, thank you for Oh, thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. (laughs) Thanks for watching us. Thank you for chatting with us. As always, Wolfden Lives every single Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube.com, slash Wolfden. (laughs) This is excruciating. (laughs) If if you can't make the show for whatever reason, we always put it up on Thursday as an archive version that you can watch on demand at your leisure. If you don't want to do that, if you'd rather listen to us, this always goes up as an audio podcast on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Google Play. And if you listen to us on any of those places, be sure to subscribe, rate us, and review us because that helps us with placement on those respective stores. I will be on twitch.tv slash bobwolf right now to draw the thumbnail like I do every single week. And then tomorrow, I will be on twitch.tv slash wolfden. I have a poll on the twitter.com slash wolfden Twitter account about what game I'm going to play. And right now, that poll is neck and neck between Far Cry 5 and Super Mario 64 Ocarina of Time, the Super Mario 64 ROM hack. Now, I would much rather play Mm -hmm. the Super Mario 64 ROM hack than Far Cry 5, because then I have to buy Far Cry 5. Yeah. But right now, it's neck and neck between the two. Please vote for the Super Mario 64 (laughs) ROM hack. Um, That being said, right now, I'll be on Twitch.tv slash Bob Wolf. Also, don't forget to come hang out with me at PAX East. I am going to show you what this room looks like. It is a mess right yeah. now. And it's very lackluster because uh, it's a tiny room. Just be careful because it's all cables and stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to rotate. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> well, this is the computer. Yeah. It's my cool little... Oh. That's my cool little uh, wall stuff. Well, you have to repeat everything I say. All right, that's uh, Bob showing you the uh, the foam, the sound insulation. That's his computer. Um, you can see the lights. Pacini's desk. That's Pacini's desk, which uh, Pacini's not here. That's Bob's go chair. Way. I'm gonna go the other way. And that's the other way. The other way is a wall, and I'm right here. Look at that. It's a very tiny room. It's a very it's a tiny room, but that's okay, cause we make it work. And it comes with internet. Yes. And we're only going to be here for another month. Yes. So don't worry about it. Uh, and you know what? I'll give you another better tour if you go to twitch.tv slash Bob Wolf right now. There you go. See y'all later. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Oh, and thank you to our sponsors and supporters who are right here under my face. And you can go to discord.tv slash Wolfden and be in our supporter-only discord if you are a sponsor on a YouTube gaming or... A subscriber on Twitch. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. I love your face. You're the best. You kiss.